a few changes these past few months for the good obviously but i'll explain more after the intro especially one change that i'm making with regards to the iphone and taking pictures and it's again it's with regards to the native iphone camera app so yeah i'll explain more after the intro How's it going everybody, Phoebus Byron here and welcome to my channel, the Leisure Geek channel. And in this channel, I geek out on a few things, a little bit of Star Wars, some Disney, a little bit of MCU. Um, also like to travel, hang out with my friends and family. And I do also have a hobby you know, with regards to RC cars. And through it all, I love photography. And through my experiences and, and through the things that I geek out on, I like to share a little bit of some quick photography tips and tricks, whether it's through a DSLR, a mirrorless camera, or even um, one of the things I do carry on a lot with me is my iPhone. So uh, quick tips and quick tricks for new photographers, uh, busy photography enthusiasts such as myself. And yeah, through, you can say, using the examples through my daily life a little bit and some of the things that I do um, have interest in. So. Anyway, let's talk about, you can say, the few changes that have happened these past few months and things that I'm, you can say, focusing on uh, moving forward and to share with all of you. So one of the first things that I do want to talk about that has been a major change within the past few months is I did get a new job. So uh, obviously for myself, getting this new job, moving on from my previous job, it's a move that I did want to make. Uh, more experience, more, you can say, uh, responsibilities, and back to something that I've done in the past, which is a little bit of automation. So I'm excited about the opportunity. And yeah, obviously with the job, it's able to, with a little bit of a pay increase, um, it's uh, enabling me obviously to continue on with this hobby, YouTube videos, and then my RC car hobbies and other interests. So also, also, also photography and a little bit of a gearhead so maybe some new gear here and there but i'm gonna kind of calm down on that and just focus on the things that um, i'll talk about here so another change you can say or it's been in the works or it's been on my list that uh, it's um i ha i didn't uh, focus on but and it has been long overdue is I've got a few home upgrades and home projects that I'd like to focus on uh, within this, you can say this following year. I've held these projects back due to other, you know, projects that I wanted to focus on. But now I have the time, um, a little bit of, uh, you can say the motivation to do, do these projects. And one of those projects, one of those home upgrades or you can say home improvement projects was to basically um, improve the plug, the outlet, and also the routing of cabling f from, you can say, a receiver or a DVD player, um, your cable to a TV that's uh, mounted on a wall above a fireplace. So initially for myself and, and our house, um, it's we did have an older TV that was mounted on top of the fireplace and there is a, you can say a cabinet or enter entertainment cabinet uh, to the side of it, to, in this case on the left side. But the problem was uh, initially I didn't uh, work on that project to where the wires are hidden. So literally there was kind of like a, you can say a snake of wires going from the entertainment center, from the from the DVD player, from the uh, cable box, and other, even a gaming system, an old Wii, uh, Nintendo Wii, and all those cables just snaked uh, coming out of the entertainment center uh, onto the wall, and then finally to the back of the, the television. Really looked ugly, but again, I tried to make it look nice with some cable management, but honestly, it was, it was pretty bad. So finally, Took the leap, took the leap, uh, stepped forward, and worked on the you can say the outlets that 
were there uh, that was done by the previous owner. But to be honest with you, it was a mess. So the plug, which was on the, you could say, uh, on the right side of these three outlets, the plug was literally just hanging out. And I'm surprised <laughs> there wasn't any problems or any fires. But let's just say I cleaned that up. So I moved the plug from this center, um, not center, from the right side, which is near the center of this cabinet to the, you can say the second position in the middle. Uh, and I cleaned up the wires and the cabling for that. And obviously along with creating that new outlet, um, tired some, uh, tired, I mean tied another, uh, using some Romex, tied another outlet, which was basically this out new outlet was on the wall where the TV would mount. Uh, behind it so created those that secondary outlet and as well as uh, another position or you can say an outlet for the HDM HDMI cable so really cleaned that up um, there's more to do on it but again finally took the step forward to get those this home improvement project done and honestly I'm, I'm happy right now because it's pretty clean some things some wires I have to clean up inside of the entertainment um, cabinet right now but definitely no spaghetti no uh, cables or uh, cable management being shown from that cabinet to the television television so pretty stoked about that um, one of the fun things you can say a little bit crazy at first was actually um, taking the time to go into the attic and uh, actually yeah you say the attic uh, to get some of these cabling um harnesses or just to get everything set right and uh, a little scary at times but um, I'm getting used to it so it's going to help me with a few few other uh, you can say home improvement projects uh, coming down the pipeline so that's one you can say change or a project I'm working on and I got a few more but I'll talk about that in another video but l let me just get into the other major change that I'm um, going to be making for with for photography with regards to my iPhone so one thing I did find out in these past couple months is that it seems like for myself I don't know about how many of you are having this problem but on the iPhone on the native camera app the you can say the settings that you can make uh, for the native camera app such as having the camera being the um, the main you can say option when you close the app so let's just say you open up the native camera app and you decide to shoot a video you go to video and then you take your video obviously of course and then you close down the app but if you reopen the app there's an option to where in the settings you can opt it to automatically go to the camera uh, for photos versus just video. So I tried to make that change and I'll even share, show you a clip right now about how I tried to do that. I actually tried to do a tutorial on it and it didn't work out the way I wanted to and which is why, well, one of the reasons why I'm changing over, actually, actually a major reason, reason why I'm changing over to this other app, which I'll explain later. So let me just show you that clip right now. So there you can see in that clip, I tried to set the option for when opening up the native camera app to be on the photo option, but it stayed on the previous option. So when I tried to, when I shot a video, closed the app and went back to the app, 
it went back to video. It didn't set or use that option where I always want it to be in the photo mode. So that's one thing that I had a problem with. And I even tried the other settings and it seems like it didn't work for me. And when I checked the, there are other settings which with regards to the HD, HDR mode. And it seems like on and off it's, it was pretty spotty when I tried a few pictures where I wanted the HDR off or the smart HDR. But when I took a photo, it seemed like the iPhone native camera app and uh, whatever AI or whatever programming it has seemed to still have that HDR look. And for me, it may not be a big game changer for some of you, but for myself, I like to, you can say, control how my photos look from exposure to the colors. And again, not having this HDR look where those dark colors or the, um, you can say parts of the photos that are, are, are dark are not exposed or underexposed, the the camera app, the native iPhone camera app will just give a little bit more, um, ex you can say increase the exposure on that end. And the parts of the photo that are overexposed, it will underexpose. So it will try to blend all the brightness to uh, brightness and the colors to something it believes you may want. But again, for myself, I don't want the camera to determine the colors for myself. I want to do that all in post. So which is why I actually switched to a, you can say a camera or a camera option or camera app that's part of the Lightroom app. And I'm gonna share a couple photos of what I took of basically the, my remote controls for my RC car. But it's something that I, I do like because I have control over the image. And I can adjust the, you can say the shutter speed. I can adjust a little bit of the ISO. I can't adjust aperture obviously because the aperture is set on your iPhone because of the lens. But uh, through also this app, I can also even check to see the overblown por portions of the, of the image as well as there's an option to check to see, sorry about that, moving the microphone. Um, there's even an option where you can you can tap on it and it will show the, you can say parts of the image that are gonna be sharp. So it's almost like a depth of field. And I think that's more a little bit of, of AI, but I'm not too sure. And I'll, I'll, I'll find out more later on, but I do like the app. I do like, I can, I do like the fact that I controlled, I can control the exposure and how my image will look. And then I can take that image into, into post and then brighten up the colors the way I want it, uh, dim colors that I, the way I want it versus the iPhone doing it on its own. So yeah, moving forward, I'm gonna do some tutorials on how I'm using the Lightroom app and the camera function. There you go, that's a better way to say it. The Lightroom app and the camera function versus moving forward with the iPhone native camera app. I wish I had had no problems with it, but maybe if you, maybe some of you haven't had the issue like myself. I even tried resetting my phone, backing it up and see if it would perform the way I remember it performing. But so far it's hasn't, you could say reset and acted the way I want it to. So the big change, moving forward from the iPhone native camera app to the Lightroom app with the camera function. So yeah, I know it's a bummer, um, but right now, again, it's something I want to do because I want to move forward with it, with an app that it's a little bit more uh, intuitive for myself, who also shoots with a camera, a mirrorless camera, and again, wanting more control of the image versus letting an app take control of the image. So yeah, there you go. Um, moving forward, Lightroom app with a camera function and more projects uh, in the pipeline, home, home improvement projects. And I'll talk more again, I'll obviously with my uh, RC vehicle and the changes I'm making there. So 
uh, yeah, um, hopefully you like the video. That's it for now. Uh, more uh, updates later on. And yeah, if you like the video, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, support my channel. And uh, yeah, if you want to move forward and get notified on all the videos I do take and uh, put out there, there's also the notification bell. Thank you everyone for watching. I do appreciate it. And yeah, more changes down the pipeline, more, th more things to come. And uh, yeah, Lightroom app, camera, um, camera function, and more home improvement. So talk to you guys later and gals, everyone. I do appreciate it. And again, Phoebus Byron here, the Leisure Geek channel. And yeah, I will talk to everyone again next time.